Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a get ready with me on my go-to summer bronzy makeup look. I've been wearing this look over the last couple weeks and I've been loving it. I'm not really a bronze, like I've been wearing bronzer for the past couple months, but this is like way more bronzy than I ever do. I know. I still look like a pasty ass bitch, but that's just look how white I am. I can't help it. Um, but this is bronzy for me. And I also picked up a foundation that I used to love that I totally forgot about that I have fallen back in love with that just gives the most beautiful glowing look to the skin that I cannot describe. Like look at my forehead. There is no highlight on my forehead. You see how glowy she is. I mean the highlights a lot, but the rest of my face is still so glowy and beautiful and I'm obsessed. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Also subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and you should stick around because I said so. So if you want to see how I did this, keep watching. Okay, so to prime my face, I'm just going to first um, spray it with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Just a little bit. Um, because I am going to like my cousin's house today for a barbecue and then I'm going out tonight so this baby needs to last all day. Then on top of that I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I generally just put two pumps on the back of my hand and then kind of apply it in sections because you don't want to apply too much or it sucks. You don't want to apply too little or it sucks. So I usually end up using about a pump and a half, I find. And then you just need to let it sit for one minute to just kind of dry down and get a little bit tacky. So for foundation, a foundation that I completely forgot about is MAC Face and Body. I feel like this foundation used to be the shit and then like full coverage game became the game and everyone just kind of forgot this existed, but I love this for a summertime foundation and I definitely think you can build it up to like a medium full foundation if you want to. I honestly feel like normally I put too much of this on. Uh, so yeah, I am in the shade N1 which is the lightest shade um, and I'm just going to put some, actually let me wipe the primer off my hand first. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand about that much. And I'm using my beauty blender. My beauty blender soaks up ton of the, tons of this but I kind of don't care. Um, if I'm being honest, because I just, I am just a sponge kind of girl. And when I put the foundation on at first, you're going to see like, it literally looks like I'm putting water on my face, but then like somehow, some way it turns into the most beautiful glowy foundation you've ever seen in your life. So like layer one, we're not loving it. But then you kind of layer it up twice and all of a sudden, like do you see the difference between this cheek that I just put two layers on and this cheek? Like this one is all of a sudden like glowy and fabulous and this one's not. I don't, it, it's basically witchcraft. It's just like such a beautiful glowy foundation. You're getting like, this is basically medium coverage. I would say and once I put concealer and like, my thing is I always feel like I put foundation on and then once I put concealer and powder on, I'm like, oh, that's really full coverage. So I kind of like to take it a step back with my foundation. I'm trying to do this, not cake the foundation on so that when I do put the concealer and powder on, it kind of just looks beautiful as opposed to like being like, girl, that's a lot of makeup. Um, I'm also going to use the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector for under my eyes because I've been, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I've been testing it out. I do think that if you put too much on, your concealer over top will crease. So I like to just put the tiniest amount on and then really blend it out. But like you can see that this under eye is now brighter than this under eye. And that's all we're trying to do with this. I used to live for the Bobbi Brown Corrector. And then I just stopped using it one day. I don't know why. So that's that. And like also she's so glowy and beautiful. Like this would be a great um, product to use on like no makeup days when you just want to look alive. Like you just put on like a glowy moisturizer with like this under your eyes and you're gold. Um, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, of course because I 
can't use anything else. But I'm just going to do like two dots on either eye. I'm trying to be a little more, excuse me cats. There's a rumble happening in my fucking curtains. I'm trying to be a little more uh, conservative with my concealer under my eyes because I am a creasy bitch <laughs> as I pile this on my face. Listen, it is what it is, okay? Okay. And my chin is where I get a lot of breakouts and just like have discoloration, so that's where I basically focus most of my concealer. And I will kind of go back at the end and just add coverage to the places that need it. But like you can see that's really all the concealer you need. I have such dry under eyes that not even just dry, just like I have dry and I have uh like lines in my under eyes and so everything settles into there. So I find that if I put on too much um concealer it just creases in there anyways so I'm better off just kind of leaving it and then I'm going to set my under eye with the Fenty Beauty lavender powder truly this powder does not get enough love I really apologize if you can hear my cats murdering each other in the curtains because uh they're tiny demons and then, like I said I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of extra coverage on my blemishes. I got powder in my eye. Classic. And when I'm getting, when I'm trying to get coverage like this, I just pounce lightly until it's basically blended in. I'm not trying to blend it all out like I would with concealer kind of all over my face. See? Beautiful. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to do my brows next. I'm going to do them off camera because I did just upload a new brow routine using the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. So I will uh, link that up here and you guys can go watch that if you are interested. Okay, brows are on. Literally all I used was this and they look fierce. Um, I'm going to set my face with the MAC Morelli Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light Plus. This is a old packaging because my best friend gave this to me because she never wears hers. Um, this foundation is definitely a tacky foundation, so if you do want to blend powder and stuff over it, you need to- oh my god, I almost forgot. Never mind, hold the phone. I'm contouring my face today. That's half of the reason I made this video. This is my- this is what I do. I love this cream contour by Fenty, but what I do is, uh, forget that I'm going to cream contour my face and I powder my face. So we're gonna cream contour. I like to draw my contour a little bit higher than my contour just because when you blend out a cream contour I find that, um, I don't know, it goes all over the place. And I've been really into contouring my whole ass face because I find that this blends out so beautifully and I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to do that. Do you see how it just kind of creates a really subtle contour? And it's just like this is in the shade um, Amber, which is the perfect shade if you are a pasty ass bitch like me and you are looking for um, a cool toned contour. And honestly, what I'll do because it is such a, fuck, I keep dropping it, natural contour, I'll just kind of go back and add a little bit more where I want it. And I'm gonna add bronzer on top to kind of make this even more bronzy. <laughs> Shockingly enough. Love it. Now I'm gonna set my face um, with my Macro Skin Finish Natural. And I kind of set around where that contour is, and then at the end, I just kind of gently tap over it just because I am going to put bronzer over top of it and I prefer to set it first. Okay so I just popped on some mascara. I'm wearing the uh Hourglass Caution Mascara and the L'Oreal Paradise, Paradise, L'Oreal Paradise Voluminous Mascara. Um 
I put them together because this one I find it's not waterproof but it's very budge proof and it is hot as balls out so we're wearing that and that's also why I'm not putting it on my bottom lash line because my eyes are watery especially when it's hot out so I'm just not even trying to play that game for bronzer I'm using the Fenty bronzer in in the sun I used to not be sure how I felt about this bronzer but as I started layering it with the Fenty contour I fell in love and I also have been using this tiny little Real Techniques uh contour brush for my bronzer I don't know I just feel like I have such a tiny face that I can't find a good bronzer brush that I like and I've really been liking this because then I can just kind of swirl it in these big circular motions and I don't know it just applies the bronzer so beautifully And I've been loving doing my forehead. I have never bronzed my forehead in like my whole entire life, but I started doing this a couple weeks ago and I get it now. Like I get it. Like I've never wanted to look tanned in my whole entire life, but I'm kind of feeling this look. I don't even know who I am anymore. And then again, I kind of, I'm always like a take my powder brush and just kind of blend over everything just to make everything look a little more a seamless kind of ass bitch. Uh, for blush, we're just going to go OG and take our Benefit Dallas blush on the dirtiest blush brush you have ever seen. For highlight, we are of course going into our Flexitarian by ColourPop first and just kind of popping that on the highest point of our cheekbone. I just feel like, first of all, I love this as a highlight, but most of all, I love this as a base for highlights because I just think it makes everything on top of it pop like nobody's business. Most of my highlighters are very pink toned, but because I'm doing such a warm and kind of bronzy look today, I'm actually going to go into Fenty Beauty Sandcastle. Fenty Beauty truly has my favorite highlights. Like all of my favorite highlights are Fenty Beauty. And this one, you would look at it and think like that's too dark for me, but I don't know. It just works so perfectly. Like look, look at it. Um, so the face is done. My camera stopped recording, so I hope it caught everything. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pop on some liner, finish off my eyes, fix my hair, and I will be back to finish the whole look. Okay, so face is completely on. For lips, I mixed together. I decided to go like just full on orange queen. <laughs> I mixed together ColourPop's Cheeky or Check Please, which is a bright ass orange color but it was a little too orange for me so I put a uh, Bite Beauty Tangelo over top which is just kind of like a muted burnt orange like lip balmy kind of texture just to kind of mute it down. Um, so now I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Mist setting spray. <coughs> I used to hate that setting spray because it does feel like you need a lot to set your face but it did last me a really long time the last time I used it so and I do find that it makes your face look really nice I'm not sure if it makes it last at all but it makes it look nice so once that's on I'm going to um use one more setting spray because that's just who I am as a person I'm going to use the Milani make it last setting spray oh I always forget how aggressive this one is just like right in your face. This is the finished look. Um, on the eyes, I am wearing the Morphe 35M, which is the Boss Mood Palette. I honestly bought this months ago and I've used it maybe once. And then over the past couple of weeks, I started using it again. And I, this orange, I don't even like orange eyeshadow. And this orange look is stunning to me. I used 
this shade here on my lid i'm gonna give you a zoom in on the foundation so you'll see the eyeshadow too but i use this shade here all over my lid just with my fingers and it's so beautiful and like has all this like multicolored like green and yellow glitter in it i just i can't get enough of it so yeah i just kind of wanted to hype up that palette because i find that a lot of morphe palettes leave me wanting more but this one has been fantastic so let's zoom you in and kind of show you what the whole look and foundation looks like on the skin um we're glowing like a goddess check my highlight check this eyeshadow it's truly the most stunning thing i've ever seen I'm bronzy, I'm glowing, I just am obsessed. I probably put a little bit too much on my upper lip. I always forget that my upper lip gets so cakey, but I'm okay with it, to be honest. So my hair turned out really well today for some reason. Uh, so that is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite kind of summer bronzy products are. I like bronzer now, so let me know if you know of any other... Uh, bronzy products for fair skin. I'm honestly so obsessed with Into Sun. Like I just feel like a glowy goddess and I love it. I will say I kind of feel like you have to dig in there to get product up. It's not a super soft harder powder. It's kind of like a hard pressed powder but obsessed. So yeah this is the look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!